Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at Salient OS Plasma Edition. Now the ISOs are available now on SourceForge under the 1904-16 Plasma Testing folder, so feel free to test if you'd like to. The reason for this video is to example Dolphin as root and how to add the root service menu for both the user and the root user. As you can see, if I attempt to access root, I can't. Okay, so we're going to go through that process. So if we go to configure Dolphin and go to services, and get download new services, okay, and go by rating, this one here is the one we're interested in. Now don't click on anything here, click on the title here, the link. That will invoke a browser instance. Uh, you want to do the wallet, no, just cancel that, you don't need the wallet. One thing I'm going to do is change the theme to GTK, because I prefer it dark. All right, okay. I have to go like this for a minute. So this is the one we're interested in. It adds this root actions sub menu. So we go to files, download the file. That's going to go to your download folder. Okay, we've got that now. So we can come out of there, close that and cancel that. So there we have it in our download. So we'll extract this. And we've got an install and we've got a deinstall. Okay. So we do dot forward slash in press tab for completion or just type dot, sl dot forward slash install dot sh and just follow what is happening here. Just click install. Ignore this output, it's fine. If we close that now, we can see we have a root actions menu. But what we need to do, we need to activate that for root as well. Right, so if I go to root, right click on this folder and say open in file manager. We now have a root instance of Dolphin running, which is example by the fact we have this install.txt. This is the root home folder. And as you can see, we don't have it here, All right? So we need to do the same again. So if I go into downloads there, come back to home, live user, downloads, and just drag and drop that over here and tell it to copy. And we just repeat that process here. And then click install. There we go, that's done now. We now have root actions for root as well. Okay, so that's how we get that menu in place. If you don't want it and you want to remove it, just do the reverse, do the D install, and that will remove it. So that's how we activate the root service menu for both the user and the root user. Remember, I have to go root actions, open in file manager. And now we have the root folder open. And to prove that I have root, I'm going to create a folder. There we go, in the roots home. There's another service menu I would like to activate. So configure Dolphin. And I'm going to come down to delete. I want that option in the main menu. So I can just delete things rather than moving them to the trash. Deleting bypasses the trash. Okay, so if I create a folder again now, and now hit delete, it's gonna ask me, I'll tell it not to do that again. There you go. And that's bypass the trash altogether. 
much quicker. As you can see. So there we go. That is how we activate the root service menu in Salient OS Plasma. Hopefully you'll find that useful, as I do. And I will see you in the next video when I do the installation and update video for Salient OS Plasma Edition. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.